everyone, and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in these videos, we tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, first, a reminder that the Rise of the Necromancer's Pledge Manager will be closing tomorrow, June 1st. So make sure that you do what you can to finish your pledge by tomorrow to ensure there will be no hiccups in your fulfillment. We're also pleased to announce that the Anastir Pledge Manager and Late Pledge will be ready to open next week, and more information on exactly when it will open is still forthcoming, so stay tuned for that. I'll be continuing as normal this week with a Mythic Plays live stream with my wife on Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and a live Q&A on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time as well. So be on the lookout for those. Now, we do have a bit of more information on a few of our projects, so let's get to them. For Joan of Arc today, we've received quotes from the factory for the various options that have been presented to our senior management from a manufacturing perspective including costs and timelines. However, research needs to be conducted on what the shipping and final mile costs will be for each option, depending on which option for each issue is selected. With that being said, please realize that this means multiple options are being weighed for each issue at hand. This process is tedious, delicate, and time-consuming, but it is imperative that we get these options sorted out before replacement requests are open for the project. We are absolutely hearing your posts and comments asking for the opening of replacement requests, and we certainly understand your frustration. But this is part of our due diligence in making sure that these issues are handled properly. Preparations for the battle mode continue to progress, as we are waiting for the final draft of the battle map that makes use of the wall sections and the Teutonic Knights expansion. As soon as the map arrives, it will be incorporated into the existing final layout, and then battle mode will be complete and ready to download as a PDF file. For Hell the Last Saga today, exciting news in that we have received the first batch of resin masters to check and verify. We will inspect each miniature, checking the final pose and details, so that the factory can move ahead and create the injection molds for the plastic miniatures. This is one of the most significant steps in the plastics manufacturing process and takes into consideration any last-minute technical changes required to ensure mass production goes well. We've delivered all the final quantities for all printed components to the factory and will receive a 3D mock-up of the premium trays add-on in mid-June. Now, with this new information, we've decided to postpone the closing of the Pledge Manager until the end of June so that you have time to make your decision regarding that add-on. Concerning the preview of the weathering effect add-on, as this treatment is done at the very end of production on the plastic miniatures, it will be difficult for us to show exactly what the rendering will be before the pledge manager closes. But our production manager has decided to use some of the resin masters to duplicate the effect to at least give you a good idea of what it will look like. These examples will be in the What's Up Wednesday update for Hell this week, so make sure you check that out on the Kickstarter page tomorrow. Now, we have a new monthly progress graphic to share that will be used from now on to follow the production of the game until its fulfillment. So, as you can see, we've delivered the final print files to the factory and we're working with the factory on the master molds for the minis. We'll continue to use this graphic as we track towards fulfillment. Finally, our composer, Lies, has delivered the final mixed version of the complete soundtrack. This soundtrack is meant to be played continuously during the scenarios and when to change tracks will be directed by the appearance of a symbol in the songbook. Our playtesters who had the chance to accompany their games with the soundtrack told us that they felt like they were in a movie and their sense of immersion was significantly amplified. So enjoy this sample of one of the songs planned for the end of the saga.
for Darkest Dungeon today, we just have a couple of short videos from the factory to denote that forward progress continues to be made in production. These videos show the printing production of some cards and the printed wrap for the core box. Now, we're continually creeping ever closer to having this game in your hands, so hold on. For Six Siege today, English and French final production files are now all at the factory, and we are still waiting to receive and approve the white samples of the components and boxes. Five out of the seven digital skins, that is to say the codes, that will unlock them in the game have been sent by Ubisoft, with the remaining two coming in early June. Now that we've received them, our Fulfillment Manager will define the process of how we will get these to you once he gets back from UKGE and England. But for now, the news is that the majority of those codes have arrived and will soon be in your hands. We're also awaiting the arrival of the official images of those skins from Ubisoft, and as soon as we get them, we'll update you with a sneak peek. Additionally, our planned schedule for updating the Tabletop Simulator module for Six Siege is still on track. So thanks for your support, everyone. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show because... You just never know what Leo might have up his sleeves. As mentioned earlier, be on the lookout this week for my videos on Thursday and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, respectively. That's it for today, though. Once again, stay safe and play some games while you're at it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>